Here's another example of a proof by mathematical induction. So, we're going to prove that the sum of the squares of the natural numbers from 1 to n is equal to n outside of n plus 1, well, n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. Okay. So, just a sort of general comment, when doing proofs by induction, they're quite interesting because you don't really need any insight to do them a lot of the time. So, it's basically the same sort of procedure over and over. So, the tricky bit is, where does this formula come from? Now, I have a fairly good idea of where it comes from. <laughs> and it's, it's pretty much based on the binomial theorem. So, if you want to look into the binomial theorem, uh, yeah, you should do that. Okay, so let's prove this statement. So, first, we do the base case. So we have to show it's true for n equals 1. So, let's do that. So we go let n equal 1 left hand side equals 1 squared equals 1 right hand side equals 1 outside of 1 plus 1 outside of 2 plus 1 over 6 keep them down I guess which equals 2 times 3 over 6 which is 1 so the left hand side equals the right hand side when n equals 1 hence the statement is true when n equals 1 okay so we've proved the base case now we want to prove we have to prove that for all n p of n implies p of n plus 1 so to do that we assume this we assume the statement we're trying to prove so that's the inductive hypothesis and we have to prove when n equals 1 so in the last video I probably should have put up the statement for when for p of n plus 1 before I did the proof so I'll do that now okay so the statement p of n plus 1 is 1 squared plus 2 squared plus dot 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 plus n squared plus n plus 1 squared. It's all good. Equals this with n replaced by n plus 1. n plus 1. So that'll be n plus 2. That'll be, okay, so, yeah, so 2 times n plus 1 is 2n plus 2 plus 1, so we get 2n plus 3, all over 6. Okay, so we have to prove that's true. With this, the inductive hypothesis assumed to be true. Okay, so let's start with the left-hand side. left hand side equals so we know by the inductive assumption hmm, that this is equal to that so we substitute it in n outside of n plus 1 over 2 n or plus whatever n times n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1 over 6 plus n plus 1 squared. So, I'll try and do it kind of quick. Okay. So, get a common denominator, n, n plus 1, 2 n plus 1, plus 6 n plus 1 squared, all over 6. So, we got to keep in mind we're trying to prove this. So, Trying to prove, we're trying to show that this is equal to that. 
So we see that there's an n plus 1 over here, so it's probably safe to take, to factor the n plus 1 out. Let's do that. So we get n plus 1, use the square brackets, n, 2n plus 1, so it looks like we're going to get a quadratic, <laughs> 6n plus 1, all over 6. Okay. Okay, that's pretty clear. Okay. So I'm just gonna bring it up here. Actually, let's just break it into separate bits a little bit. So let's just consider consider just what's inside of these square brackets. So we want to show that what's inside those square brackets is equal to n plus 2 times 2n plus 3. So let's work on that by itself. Okay? So we've got n outside of 2n plus 1 plus 6n plus 1 equals so just do it quick, so we get 2n squared plus n plus 6n plus 1 equals 2n squared plus 7n plus 1. So, okay, so we know that we're going to get a 2 times some n, so we just do 2n plus whatever times n plus something so what do we need we need hmm well so we could sort of consider this okay so 2 times 3 is 6 Hmm. Fuck it. I'm just going to use a quadratic formula. <laughs> okay. So we've got this bar. 2n squared plus 7n plus 1. Oh no. That's why I fucked up. Sorry. This should be a 6. Okay, that makes heaps more sense. So we got 2n plus n plus something. So we want it to multiply to give 6. So that's 3 and 2 multiply to give 6. That's good. And we want it to add to give 7. Hmm. Yeah, so 2n times 3 equals 6. 2n times 2 equals 4. n times 3 equals 3. 3 plus 4 equals 7. Cool. 3 plus 2. So, that's good. Cool. Could just expand it out, but it does equal that. Okay. Hence, this whole thing equals n plus 1, n plus 2, 2n two plus 3, all over 6, by principle of mathematical induction, for all n, p of n. Let me do a little square. That's a, yeah, okay, square. Okay.